And I got this out of the Goodwill bins and I sold this for $17 plus shipping and she sold very quickly. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about my bread and butter bolos. What is that? That is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully source cheap, buy low, and sell high. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All of these items sold on eBay for $35 or less. less I'm sorry. So these are items that you can find pretty easy and source pretty cheap and sell for a profit. And when I say that anybody can be a reseller, anybody can do this. So let me show you. All right, so the first item I sold is this Heartstone mug. It's a coffee mug. And I find these all the time. I think they're like made in my area in Ohio. So I find them at garage sales all the time. Usually pay about a buck for them. If it's like Halloween or something really special that I've never seen before, I would pay a little more, but typically a buck. They will be marked with a little initial somewhere on the item like this, and it's always different. And then the markings on the bottom can vary. But once you see one of these mugs, you are going to know what it looks like. This one sold for $13. I got it at a church sale for $1. This here came from the Goodwill bins, and there's a little story behind this one. I grabbed a bag, and I thought it was in good shape, and when I got it home, the bag was completely torn, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I paid $1.89 a pound for this thing, and it's worthless, and I thought, I can sell the strap. So that's what I did. And I took a best offer of $7.80 plus shipping, so probably made my money back, and I am good with that. This is a Raggedy Ann book. You guys, I have probably had this listed for 10 years. I'm not kidding. And a lot of people say, do you keep your items listed? What about your stale items? What do you do? I list it and I forget it. Now, I am trying to do sell similar. About three years ago, I did a sell similar of my entire store. I worked really hard on it. And I ended items and did sell similar. But that was three years ago. There's a lot of items in my store that have been sitting for three years since that update. So um, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, like I just don't have time to go in and do sell similar. Sometimes I'll do like 10 or 15, but I just don't worry about it. I am a list it and forget it. I've got over 7,000 items and it's just between YouTube and Poshmark and Mercari and whatnot and all the different things that I'm doing, like that's just very low on my list. And this is an example of an item that sat and sat and sat and then all of a sudden sold. Did it sell for big money? No, but my point in telling you, this item was relisted in 2019 and it sold in 2023 and I didn't touch it from 2019 to 2023 and somebody still found my item. So it is possible for your items to sell if you don't refresh them, but if you refresh them and do the sell similar thing, yeah, that can help. It's going to bump it higher in the algorithm. But I've also heard that the longer your items are listed, that it also helps in the Google search. I don't know what's correct. So um, I just don't have time to do it. So that's why I don't do it. I probably would do it maybe every three to six months if I had the time but I don't. So mine just sit. Anyway, this sold for $6.49 and the buyer paid shipping. So that's a question I get a lot. Um, I try to let you guys know if an item is really long tail, but some of my items, it takes a year to sell. I don't even think twice about that. Like I just list it and forget it. This one here sold pretty quickly. It's the Berenstein Bears 1983 June vacation time porcelain ceramic disc ornament. This came from an estate sale. I really wasn't sure what to think about it. I couldn't find another one like it. So I listed it high at $32 and ran a sale and I sold it for asking price of $20.80 plus shipping. And that was from an estate clean out. These right here, I got at a church sale. I paid 50 cents for them. I do have video footage of that. That's when I found that awesome Avon calendar for a buck. Oh my goodness. But I picked up these mother of pearl, um, earrings. They're hand carved, I believe hand carved 
mother of pearl uh, little birds. And I sold these for $24.70 and the buyer paid shipping. And my cost of goods was 50 cents. I think I said that. Now, this one is another one where you're like, I'm not wasting my time with that little toy. And, and most of you won't, but I love selling toys. One, I can find them super cheap. They're easy to list and they are super easy to ship. And I love easy shipping. I got this out of a toy box, a mystery toy box um, from a thrift store. And it's a little Imaginex Power Rangers figure. And really for what it is, I got eight bucks for that guy plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $14.02 for this little Power Ranger dude. So I'll take that. This is a Longenberger basket liner. It's an American small picnic basket liner. If it does not have this on it, I will not buy it because it is really hard to figure out which basket it goes to and the person buying it is gonna need this information. So if you like are specialized in Longenberger baskets, maybe pick them up if they're not in the, without the, this info, but me, uh -uh, not doing it. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for $13.64 plus shipping. This is a 1994 gallery of stitches, iris flower, bucilla needlepoint. And I sold two of these in the same day and I am sold out. Uh, I believe I took a best offer on the first one for either, I think it was $13. And then a viewer, Purple Turtle Girl, bought this one from me for my asking price of $14.26 plus shipping. So thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate you very much. All right. The next item is this vintage Hallmark Rodney the Reindeer, but this guy's 19 inches. He's a big guy. I've never seen a big guy before. I got him at the Goodwill Benz and I sold him for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. My Goodwill Benz is $1.89 a pound. If it is a super big plush, it's only a dollar for the plush. And I, I don't know if that's on special days or what. Maybe um, depends on uh, the day. I'm not certain, but usually if it's a big, big plush, they know you're not going to pay $1.89 a pound for a huge plush, so they will work with you. This is Sheriff Callie's Wild West Deputy Peck Disney Store, I'm sorry, Disney Junior Toy Figures. And this one came out of a thrift store mystery box. And uh, my thrift store mystery boxes, it's a thrift store. It's a local thrift store that I go to. They sometimes have them. So they sometimes don't. Um, they haven't been having them lately, but I used to do unboxings all the time. But anyway, this is one of those items. I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. This one right here is so cute. It's the Petting Zoo Plush Poodle Dog. And she is super cute. She's got this little gem right here. And I just love it. And I got this out of the Goodwill bins. And I sold this for $17 plus shipping. And she sold very quickly. This is a jelly cat. And this is another one that I dug out of the Goodwill bins. It may have been the same day. But its neck was like kind of floppy. And I felt like the limbs, like the, the plush or the stuffing wasn't really in it the right way. Like it had been really loved on. We'll just say that maybe, I don't know, but it didn't sit up well. So I just disclosed all that and I started at auction style and it went up to $18 and 50 cents plus shipping. And that came out of the Goodwill bins. This right here, I got from an estate sale. I got a whole bunch of calico critters. These are flocked and you can see right here, like it's got fuzz on it. I did not get all of that off. That's probably why this one took a little longer to sell, but these are vintage and harder to find. And um, I have sold so many from that lot. It was a just a tote bag full from an estate sale. So I've got probably a quarter in this. I sold this for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. This here I picked up at the Goodwill Benz. I actually got two of them on the same day. And I'm thinking that I probably should have priced these higher because both of them sold so fast. I'm like, it's, I think it's new old stock. It retailed for 35. And I was like, who's going to have the matching set? Like who's going to need these, you know? So I priced it kind of low. And when the first one sold quickly, I should have upped my price, but I didn't. I uh, ended up selling the second one for $15.50 plus shipping. So they are pillowcases, 400 thread count, spa blue. This little mini ornament is about this big. It is teeny tiny. And that's what it looks like. And it does have Gale written on the back. I got this out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. Sold this for a best offer of $7 plus shipping. 
creative memories, page protectors, the different sheets of paper. If they are discontinued, new old stock, pick them up. They are a great seller. This one I got at the Goodwill Bins. It was sealed. I was super excited when I found it. Um, $1.89 a pound at the bins. So got it really cheap, probably less than a buck. And I sold this for a best offer of $17.50 plus shipping. This is a vintage Lee Bine hand-painted Christmas ornament. It's a dove, peace, love, joy, and it's in a velvet box. It's from 2001. And this came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. And I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. This came from a thrift store and it was out in the free box. So at this thrift store, if things do not sell, they go out into boxes. And before you go in, you can pick through the free items. If I get a free item, when I pay and check out, I always give extra money to pay for the item because I know that I don't need this for personal use and I'm going to resell it. So I make sure that I pay for the item. This item sold for $12.40 plus shipping. This is another one of those Hearthstone mugs, but this is a mini mug. It's smaller. And I sold, I think, is this the mini? Maybe not. Maybe not. I might be lying. I think that's actually a standard. Never mind. Disregard. I sold a mini mug that looks exactly like this. I think it had the same snowman on it. Um, and the money, mini mug did well also, but this one is a regular size. So I messed up there. I got this at an estate sale. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I sold it for $13.64 plus shipping. This is a Nintendo DS Lite. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and it powered up, but it didn't, it was for parts or repair. I didn't know how to test it. I didn't have anything to test it. So parts or repair for this. And I sold this for $18 plus shipping. And out of the bins, it was probably $1.50 maybe. These are vintage. It's a set of Looney Tune mini ornaments. And I got these at a garage sale for $1. And I sold them for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a vintage hair pick. And it says that I got it at the Goodwill Benz. I don't remember. I mean, I guess I did, but I don't remember getting it. So maybe it'll be in one of my Goodwill Benz videos. Um, it's funny how like some things you just forget. But that makes sense. I sold it for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. I bought, um, I've bought several uh, bags of hair stuff, like accessories and stuff, and it may have been in one of those, those lots. That's why I don't specifically remember picking it up when I was digging for it. These are Power Ranger figures. Uh, these also came out of the Goodwill bins. I sold them on auction for $14.99, and the buyer paid shipping. This here came from a garage sale, and I was really excited about this garage sale. And when I got home, everything smelled like smoke, with the exception of a few things. Um, I don't know if they were stored in a different area, but most of the items I ended up having to donate. Um, there was jewelry that I got that was good, but anything that was like plush or had, you know, that cloth that held odor smelled like smoke. This guy didn't, but he was missing the bottom of his battery compartment. I did pay $5 for this because I looked it up and I knew that it was a big money bolo. If it would have had the battery cover, it would have sold for a lot more. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $35 plus shipping without the battery cover. It is a road rage figure, orange suit hair, and it's by Jimmy. G-E-M-M-Y. Definitely a great brand to pick up. This came from, remember when I got all of those pewter and brass um, outlet covers and switch covers? This was one of the items that was with it. It was kind of a random item. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to list it. By the way, the pewter and the brass have been doing amazing. I'm almost sold out. So definitely be on the lookout for those. I have a whole video on it. But anyway, uh, I got this at a garage sale for about a buck. And I sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. The next item here, I think I undersold this one because he was really, really big. And this one was um, given to me by a viewer. She reached out to me. She's like, hey, I have all of this plush and I need it out of my house tomorrow. If you can come get it tomorrow, you can have it all free. And I'm like, okay, I will figure something out. Um, I had so much stuff in my garage from an estate clean out. It was like the most like inconvenient time, but I'm like, who can pass up 
tons of free plush. There's just no way I had to do it. And I was like, it's footage for my channel. Um, I had no idea what to expect, but there was some really great stuff in there. Super, super excited about it. I got everything listed. It's all in my eBay store. And I ended up selling this monkey for um, $19.50 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a koala baby monkey. And like I said, it is actually pretty big and he's super, super cute. And I probably should have listed him higher, but that's okay. Um, great, great item. And um, thank you all for being here and watching. Um, I appreciate you all. Thank you. And let me know how you found the channel down in the comments. Leave me a hat emoji or just write the word hat. Or if you feel like it, just write the word hoot. Hoot, like an owl says hoot. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.